Samson, <laughs> Samson messed up. He was a judge. He wasn't an ignorant man. He was a man of very great intelligence, but just had a great weakness. I say to you today, and let me say this so you won't fool yourself. Every man that's sitting in this seat and every woman that's sitting in here today has some type of weakness. I'm going to say it again. Let me say it again so that way when I leave, you, you'll say, uh, well, at least he told the truth. I, wouldn't, I don't want him to say that. But every one of you, I'm going to say that in front of you, you have a weakness. I don't know what your weakness is, but let me tell you who do. The devil does. He capitalizes on everybody's weakness in this room if he can. The Bible says he goes around about a roaring lion seeking who he may devour. Don't mean that he can get you. It means that you have to let him get you. That means that you have to fall into the trap. Come on, talk to me. It is a trap. Somebody said a trap. It is, a, it is the worst trap it is. It is your trap. It ain't my trap. It's your trap. I can jump over your trap because it don't mean nothing to me. But I got my own trap, and when I see that trap, I got to be careful because that trap will make you play with it. When I was a kid, uh, 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 <laughs> I, I'm going to tell you, I, when I was a kid, uh, Pastor Cox, I don't know about the rest of them, but we, we wasn't we wasn't that rich like some of y'all's mama and daddy were. We, we were just trying to make it. And every now and then, you'd have to set out what we call a rat trap. Don't worry about it if you ain't never seen one. Please, thank God. You, thank God you ain't never seen one. And you go home and tell your mama, thank you, mama, I ain't never seen a rat trap before. But we'd have to set out rat traps, and you'd have to put a little cheese or some kind of bread. We wouldn't, let me say something to you. We really didn't use no cheese. Because all that government cheese, we ate that. Can I get a witness? But don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry. This ain't everybody. Just a few of y'all. I'm trying to teach you something about history a little bit. You had to put a little cheese or something on the trap, and it was set, and it was, it was, it was actually weight censored. So you would put a little cheese on the end, and you would pull the trap back, and you would lock it. Well, we were kids. We, 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 you, didn't, you know, Mama didn't take us to Toys R Us. Don't worry about it. Like I said, don't worry. Just listen to the story and don't worry about it. We, we, we didn't know anything about Santa coming down the Trimley with a bunch of toys because uh, he just didn't go into the black neighborhood at that time. <laughs> but we didn't think he did anyway. We, 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 we had to make our toys. If it was a wagon wheel, we hit it with a stick and ran all day till your socks fell down. If it wasn't that, we did want a basketball goal, you had to take a rim and take the spokes out of it. I know I'm not the only one. Just, just play like it ain't you and just look, keep you straight ahead. We, we, we sometimes didn't have a ball. We had to just take some socks. Somebody know what I'm talking about. You know, it roll the socks up and we couldn't dribble it. We just run by each other <laughs> and throw it in the hoop, and uh, we didn't have to. And every now and then, we play with stuff around the house, and we play with the mouse trap. <laughs> Me and my brother, we had a a dare contest. Who could mess with the mouse trap and not get? I was younger than him. He was smarter than me. <laughs> so he played like he hit it. Ah, got it. So I said, oh, well, must be my turn. I stuck my hand in there and hit it. And it popped against me and got me on my hand. And, and it hurt so bad that I ran to my mama and I had the trap on my hand. And, <laughs> and mama said these words. Didn't you know? Didn't you see that? You should have knew that as soon as you put your hand in there, it was going to trap you. What would make you go toward the trap when you knew it was going to get you anyway? 
I know that's, that's okay. Some of y'all gonna get this when you get home. Let me tell you something. Some of y'all already know where the trap is. All it takes is one phone call and you creeping in the night at the trap. But, but let me tell you something about the trap. The trap ain't your friend. After a while, it's going to snap onto your hand. And you know what you're going to do? You, you might want to hide it from everybody, but it's going to hurt too bad. Everybody's going to know you got hit with the trap. Mama pulled the trap off of me. And back in the day, they didn't have a whole lot of stuff. Whatever it was, they put some grease, cola oil, or something on it to keep you from dying. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Be swole, you're going to school anyway. And you're still going to finish your chores. If you had to wash dishes, you had to work with that one. Because nobody, but I'm saying that life will not give you a break. Life is going to go on, and you're still going to have to wash the dishes in your life. Even though you've been hurt, bruised, busted, and disgusted, nobody's going to care about that because life is going on. That's why you stay with God, and when you see the trout, no matter how they dare you to touch the trout, you say these words, I will not put my hand in something that's unclean because God is with me.